With the release of Season 4 of the hit show Camp Cretaceous, we will be seeing the return of the fan-favorite Spinosaurus, the animal that had chased Alan Grant and the Kirby family across Isla Sorna in Jurassic Park 3. And finally, after 20 years of hiatus, this massive predator is returning to do the same thing to the campers we all know and love. But not as we had last seen it, as we had last seen it previously on Site B, and now it is on a currently unknown island in an environment that has nothing to do with the jungles and forests of Site B. And along with it will be other dinosaurs, such as the fearsome pack of Velociraptors, the recently revealed Dilophosaurus, and most interestingly enough, a new T-Rex which shares a striking resemblance to an original T-Rex that we haven't seen since 1997. But for me, the biggest question that this brings is where did Manticore acquire these dinosaurs? And while we do know that certain dinosaurs' DNA were retrieved from Issa Sorna, creatures such as this Rex remain a mystery. However, could it be possible that this T-Rex is one of that we know from the past, and could it be that this dinosaur was one of the original seven guardians of Isla Sorna? That's new. me we shouldn't go in there which means we're obviously going in there come on hey guys how are you all doing today now for today's video we got some interesting theories on the new t-rex that has been recently revealed for camp cretaceous season 4 and why i believe it may actually be a t-rex from isla sorna that we did not realize just yet However, before we get into today's theories, I want to reveal some new images that just came out in this video as a little bonus um, content. So recently, five new images have come out. The first we're going to talk about which is an image showing the campers, um, well all except for Darius, looking out and apparently in constant fear or worry, which believes me to believe since Darius isn't there, it most likely is them watching Darius get captured, which we do know is a theory that is going around since there are a lot of moments from the show that we don't see him with the rest of the campers, including at the end of the trailer where we see them being chased by said Spinosaurus. Now, there isn't too much to go into this, but let's get into probably the biggest one that has been shown, which is Yaz being surrounded by both a Ceratosaurus and the Indominus Rex, which has caused a lot of questions already, even though it's been out for less than a few hours. But I have an answer for why this may be. And I don't think that these are actually the Indominus Rex and Ceratosaurus in the physical form. I believe that she is actually imagining these and living through some trauma, which does bring an interesting aspect that we haven't seen with any of the campers. Now, if you recall in Season 3, she did have some flashbacks of her time with Sammy while Sammy was injured from her attack from the Scorpius Rex, which sort of motivated her to get the, de get the antidote for the Scorpius Rex venom much faster and she succeeded obviously. However, one thing that is interesting is that we haven't seen any sort of trauma from any of the campers, but it seems like for Yaz, this will be a major part of her story in the fourth season because if you look at the background of this image, it seems out of focus, which leaves me to believe that she's sort of living a dream or a nightmare where she's seeing all these dinosaurs that attack. Maybe she'll see the T-Rex as well, the Scorpius Rex, and maybe we'll see that she's suffering from some severe trauma, which could be a very interesting thing that we haven't seen yet, and I really do hope that they don't just do it for a little bit and then just ignore it. I want to see like these, some of these characters like really suffering from almost a year of dinosaur attacks, because that does a lot of damage to your psyche, trust me. I wouldn't know, but you know, I'm pretty sure it would. Which, it's interesting, so don't get your hopes up for anyone who wants to see Indominus Rex or Ceratosaurus back. It seems to me that this is a flashback, because, well, if it weren't a flashback, then I'm pretty sure she would be eaten, because judging from how close the Indominus and Ceratosaurus is to her, there's no way she's dodging both of them. But, moving on to another important image, which reveals two T-Rexes, which will be important for today's theory video, which... For this, it shows two T-Rexes, which in some articles that I've seen, they classify these two T-Rexes as mother and daughter, which is interesting, which will be important for the video as I just mentioned, but 
we don't see too much, and one important feature about both of them is that they are not the T-Rex that we have seen in the trail as that one was shown to be very bloodied and scarred, while these guys don't appear to have any. Maybe they have one that we just can't see, but they do not appear to be as battered and bruised as that other one, which so far confirms a total of three T-Rexes, which it's going to be interesting. Are they a family? Maybe the Rex we've seen in the fights have so far so far is actually maybe the male T-Rex of this family and this the mother and daughter as it's been suggested which we don't see what they're doing maybe they're just walking around maybe the campers will see uh, excuse me will see them and then be like oh my god look it's a mother and daughter and maybe that other one was just defending them that could be an interesting thing but moving on from two T-Rexes of giant size we're going to move to two small swift thieves the Velociraptors, which are the two that we have seen already, which in one of the first images for Season 4 that was official, it revealed these two surrounding um, some of the campers. But now they are be the ones being surrounded by drones, which, judging from how the drones are showing off the same lights that they have been with the T-Rex and the Kentrosaurus in the trailer, something tells me that these drones are actually sort of hypnotizing and controlling these dinosaurs. They're being forced to do their the drone's bidding or something. Maybe they're going to be sent to attack another dinosaur. Maybe they're going to be sent to attack the campers, which could explain why we saw that image a few weeks ago. Who knows what it is, but interestingly enough, these raptors don't match any appearance of any raptor apart from Charlie, interestingly, one of the raptor squad members, which I will talk about that in the video later on, but let's go on to the final image which reveals the Spinosaurus, which is the first official image apart from the poster that we've gotten of the Spinosaurus. And yes, I know we saw it in the trailer, but this is the first image, which it looks like it's actually on all fours it seems, which not too much to go into, but a nice look at it, and maybe it's it's probably chasing the kids just off screen, who knows, but still, nice lovely images. But now, let's go on to the main video. So, for the main reason that you are all here, this Rex. Is this one that we know well? Well, I don't think it will be revealed as the Bull T-Rex from the Lost World, but I do believe that this Rex, as well as the others shown in this new image, do does suggest that this could be one of the six Rexes from Isla Sorna. Because rem remember, when John Hammond had started creating dinosaurs on Site B, InGen were able to successfully clone eight Tyrannosaurus Rexes. This of course includes Rexy, which was the only one to be brought to Jurassic Park on Isla Nublar, as well as the Buck and Doe Rexes from the Lost World, which left us with five currently unknown Tyrannosaurus. And I do believe that Manticore successfully managed to capture at least two of these from Sorna, since we do know that they managed to capture the Spinosaurus, as previously mentioned, which has been confirmed to be the one from JP3. So, if, which brings an important question. If they were able to capture the Spinosaurus from Isla Sorna, why didn't, why wouldn't they also capture some of the Rexes? After all, there were at least seven of them on the island that we knew of, apart from the Rex that was killed in Jurassic Park 3, which so far has been theorized to be the baby Rex that we saw in the Lost World. So at this point, there's still seven on the table, and there could even be more. And along with this, other dinosaurs like these two Velociraptors that we just mentioned are up for debate as well, as we do know that they have their own dinosaurs as well, such as the Kentrosaurus, and these raptors don't actually match any of the raptors from Site B. Now, the show could actually explain this as being these raptors were created by the DNA of raptors that Manticore could have captured from Isla Sorna, such as the tiger raptors, the male and female raptors, or these could be explained as a third tribe of raptors captured from Sorna. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't buy that one. I think it would be better explained if they were raptors created by DNA from other raptors on Sorna. And it, for these rexes, it could be explained that as well. But I like the idea that two of at least two of these rexes are ones from Sorna. After all, we know that there was f at least five rexes that we hadn't seen in the franchise yet, at least in canon. We have seen them in things like Trespasser, but. Seeing these on the new island raises some important questions for me. For one, what does this mean for the state of Sor Isla Sorna? What has happened to it? 
and now that it's been pillaged of many of its dinosaurs, what happened to other dinosaurs like the bull and doe rexes? Are, th are there any dinosaurs left on the island? Are they, are the bull and female rex dead? Are there any raptors left? Any of them? So many questions that this brings up, but we'll have to talk about those in another video in the future. But anyway guys, what do you think about this theory of these rexes being from Isla Sorna? Do you think it's actually possible, or do you think that there's another reason for th them to be in this new island? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I would love to hear them all in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. We are currently at 1,900 subscribers, and I do hope that we can reach 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year, hopefully as a nice good old Christmas present to me. If we can do that, that would be very appreciated. But anyway, guys, be sure to subscribe, and of course, stay safe out there, and until the next one video, hope be safe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.